Breaking news of Javante Tank Davis announcing that he will be back in October. Javante took to his Twitter by stating, and I quote, October, I'm back. Now, if that happened to be the case, that will be a very quick turnaround. Since Javante just fought Barrios and we only three months away from October. However, Javante did say earlier this year, he plans on staying active by fighting two to three times a year. Nevertheless, the million dollar question, who will Javante Tang Davis fight next? Or better yet, who can he even fight next that are actually available to fight in October? Well, first of all, I have to address the big controversy Floyd Mayweather has started by stating that Tank is only going to be fighting PBC fighters. Believe it or not, that's an unwritten rule that majority of the promoters go by, at least the big time promoters, such as Bob Arum, etc, etc. That's exactly how top rank have been operating for years, by only making in-house fights and rarely collab with other networks unless it's really beneficiary. The only shocking part about the news is Floyd Mayweather revealing that to the public. That was not the smartest thing to say, especially if we are shopping for Tank's next opponent. We all know Ryan Garcia is an option that TMT would love to select. That alone debunks what Floyd Mayweather had to say because Ryan Garcia is not with the PBC, which is exactly my point. Now, when it comes to Ryan Garcia as a potential opponent for Javante Tank Davis in October, I already actually made two videos on Ryan Garcia calling out Javante to fight by the end of the year. Since Ryan himself is coming off viciously knocking out anxiety, I'ma leave the links for those two videos in the comment section below. I mean, I think Ryan is still capping to this day. I think he has clock chasing issues, but you never know the day they may invent a car that could fly is the day Ryan Garcia may fight Tang Davis. You also have Teofimo Lopez. He's out of the equation due to the COVID attack from his ticket sales. The third option is Devin Haney which is the most realistic option if you ask me. Devin Haney came on my show yesterday and called out Javante Tank Davis to fight. He's also a free agent, so he's free to go to the PBC or ESPN to make the biggest fights possible. Devin Haney isn't just a free agent. He also free to fight since he doesn't have an opponent yet. However, Floyd Mayweather CEO, Leonard Ellaby, already shut down the motion of this fight as he made it clear they are not interested. The fourth option is Lomachenko. He was paid a half a million to fight Nakatani where he was victorious. However, this option is not too realistic since Loma is high risk and doesn't have that much to offer after losing all of his belts to Teofimo Lopez. Now, if Loma does land the Teofimo Lopez rematch and is victorious, he will definitely put himself back to the mix. And last but not least, Javante Tank Davis, he has Mikey Garcia, Oscar Valdez, and even Josh Taylor as options as well. Josh Taylor has a mandatory due anyway which leaves Mikey Garcia and Oscar Valdez as options for October. Mikey Garcia does fight for PBC. He's a free agent. So that's a realistic option. Therefore, it's going to be interesting to see who Javante Tank Davis end up fighting next. Floyd Mayweather have been doing an amazing job building Javante Tank Davis' name and finding him opponents we really didn't even think of. So I wouldn't even be surprised if Javante ends up fighting someone I made no mention of. However, if Javante is looking to break the pay-per-view market, the Fabulous Four must come into play. On other news, Javante Tank Davis versus Mario Barrios reportedly sold approximately 
210,000 to 215,000 pay-per-view buys, which those are decent numbers since Barrios didn't have the biggest name in the world. Also, Tank had to compete with Lomachenko, who was fighting on free TV on ESPN, while Tank was obviously fighting on Showtime on pay-per-view. On top of that, there were three pay-per-view events that already took place that month, which made Javante versus Barrios pay-per-view the fourth event that month. You had Floyd Mayweather versus Logan Paul. You also had the UFC, Israel, Nate Diaz, so on and so forth. We also had Silver versus Chavez Jr. and Chavez Sr. versus Hacha Camacho Exhibition. Therefore, there was a lot going on that particular month. So these numbers are really good if you factor all of that in. However, Javante can easily crack a million pay-per-view buys if he does end up fighting a Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, or even Teofimo Lopez. With that being said, drop your thoughts in the comment section below to who Tank may fight next. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one. Tank, I'm going to say it in front of Mike and Jeremy. If you do not take this fight, your legacy is forever tainted. Nobody, I mean God, nobody, oh will God. ever remember your name. <laughs> nobody. The money's there. I know you love money, God but money's there. Damn. If you don't take the fight next, your whole legacy forever is tainted if you don't take the next fight oh with me. Oh, my God. God damn, Tank. I ain't never heard no shit like this. You 5'5", five five, you're going to need a ladder to hit me. You're going to need a Stairmaster. Boy, you won't be able to touch me. You ain't never fought a 135 in your life. Just different. Just, I don't care what you oh say. Goodness. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Boy, I don't care. You too ugly to be I'm fucking oh. kidding. And that's what I'm going to leave. Boy, I'm pretty. You ain't never seen nothing like me. I promise you. You, you can go down. You see me with the bow tie, man. Two reels is all going to take. All right, you can talk to Mike. Have a good time with Mike. Yeah, this shit, man. Oh, don't worry. You can. Hey, yeah, uh, hit me with that shot. You're gonna need a stairmaster, boy. Yes. Hey, keyword. Oh. Keyword. Woulda. If. I, if. Can your next fight be with this nigga, man? What? <laughs> nigga, we on worldwide television. Can you fight this nigga talking mad shit, man? <laughs> Let's go! Oh, Let's go! Hey, sign in a thousand. Hey, look at me. I'm dancing. I'm happy. Look at I'm I'll get your bachata on you. I'm getting bachata on you. Hey. Everybody, just want to make it real clear my fight with Pacquiao would not be an exhibition, it will be a real fight shooting for 12 rounds, all on the line, our records on the line. Just want to make that very clear for everybody with confusion.